There are so many grocery list apps in the market, whether on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. They all do more or less the same things, but my personal favourite is my Shopee, and here are the reasons why. Now, firstly, as a user of both an iPhone and Android, I like to have the choice of installing an app on either one, as this would also allow me to share the list to users of both OS. Now, let's first download the app. Using this app is pretty straightforward. However, since there isn't a Malaysian database, let's use a global one. Now let's add a list. And the difference between my Shopee and other shopping list app is that you can customize your list. For instance, you can make a list of things to buy at different stores. Let's create a shopping list for Tesco. So add a list with the plus icon here and use the other category. Now key in Tesco and add an image. You can either take your own photo or use an image from the internet. Now tap add. Now here's your list, so you can add commonly used stuff like whatever is in its database or you can add your own. You can even add an image from the internet or take a photo of it. If you have an item that you regularly buy and you're fussy about the brand you use, then you can scan the barcode or manually add it in. Surprisingly, some local barcodes here can be read, but if you can't, then just manually add it. So it really depends on how hardworking you are too. So why bother with so many lists? For instance, not everything can be bought at Tesco. So I can have another list for another store such as Mr. DIY or Daiso too. And yet I can also have a general list of things that can be named. Let's say boss birthday party. Personally, I like to have lists for different stores. So when I go to that particular store, I know what I need to get from that store. The only drawback is the ability to share actual lists. You can share a list via email or SMS, but what happens is that the receiver will have to add the shared list either as a new list or to a current list. So what you are actually sharing is the list of items and not the list per se. Thanks everyone for watching this episode of the App Quickie. Now if you have any apps that you want us to review, let's say, or if you have maybe a certain type of category of apps you want us to talk about, just comment below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Google+. So to the next video, this is Alicia signing off.